The point of this video is questioning what the foundation for morality is, objective morality. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, little girl, I'm EJ here, and just in case you're seeing my face for the first time, you're welcome to join it. It's always an exciting thing to see other people proclaiming their faith unabashedly. And in this video today, we have Disney star China, she is sharing with us her faith and what she believes and why she believes that Nollywood is evil and which of course is not as if it's, it's, it's a secret anymore and guys I don't know if you if you've been watching my videos I've been saying that what is happening in the world today especially what is going on in the US today is an indication of how the world is coming to an end guys if at this if at this point in time you are still doubting if there is God or not the, what is happening should be an indicator today that the evil is pre, uh, pre prevailing. The devil is in our faces. He's not hiding anymore. He has employed agents that are working for him. We see him everywhere. Like, if at this point you're still believing that there is no God, man, then that means there's something serious going on with him. So let's take a look, let's take a look at the video. I won't, there's nothing much to say because it's just straightforward. I really just wanted you guys to to watch it and i would love to hear your opinion in the comment section because i won't be saying much i won't be saying anything because it's pretty much straightforward but i'm i'll be in the comment section reading your opinion what do you think and the way she's going about it do you think it's okay and what she's saying is it okay i would love to hear your opinion so let's do this guys just say hypothetically for a second that god doesn't exist i'm not saying that people that don't believe in God are not capable of living moral lives. I would never say anything like that. The point of this video is questioning what the foundation for morality is, objective morality, without God. Because think about it like this. We are teaching our children, don't, don't steal or, or do any of these things. But I'm only telling you not to do it because it's socially unacceptable. There's no afterlife, no transcendent justice. You came from the dirt into the dirt you will return. Y'all see what I'm saying? As soon as life gives them a good kick in the butt, they're like, hold on, what has society ever done for me? Society has never done nothing but hurt me and given me insecurity issues, given me depression, given me anxiety. Why should I follow these rules though? I didn't feel accountable to anybody. I didn't feel that I had to face what I had done ever. Growing up, did you feel that you were accountable to your dad or to your mom? They disciplined me, so I felt accountable to them. But afterwards, after I left the home, I uh, started wanting to uh, sort of create my own little world where I could be the one who had the complete control. When did you first feel everyone is accountable? I always believed the lie that we all just came from the slime and uh, when we died, you know, that was it. There was nothing. If a person doesn't think that there, there is a God to be accountable to, then what's, what's the point of, of trying to uh, modify your behavior to keep it within acceptable ranges? That's how I thought anyway. That the Lord Jesus Christ, I have accepted him as my Lord and Savior. And I believe that I, as, long, as well as everyone else, will be accountable to him. Michael McLean's snake in the yard analogy. Say we're best friends. You come over to my house and we chillin'. And then I remember, oh shoot, I forgot to take my dog out. Stay here, let me take him in the backyard. I'll be right back. I take my dog downstairs, I unlock the door. What do I see? I see a snake in the yard. So I grab my dog, rush back inside, close, lock the door. And then I go back upstairs where I left you. I see that you've gotten up and you're about to leave the room. And I'm like, wait, where are you going? And you're like, I wanted to go to the backyard too. And I say, okay, I'll see you when you get back. You head out there to get some fresh air and oh, a snake bites you. You run back upstairs to my room and you starting to limp at this point. And you're like, China, China, I just got bit. There's a snake in the yard. Oh yeah, I know. I saw it when I was going to take my dog out. What would your next statement be? China, why didn't you tell me? Now, if you told me, oh, I'm going to the backyard to get some air. And I said, oh, no, 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 don't go back there. I just saw a snake back there. Would giving you that information be forcing something down your throat? Forcing my beliefs on you? No, it's showing you that I love you. I do videos talking about God to warn you about the snake in the yard. That's the point. And now you have a choice to make. You can either choose to be like, heard you. 
I'm gonna go back the way I came. Or you're gonna choose to be like, China, I don't believe you. I'm gonna go back there anyway, excuse me. Either way, I'm not gonna force you to do nothing. But if you end up in trouble, just know that I tried. So you can't be mad at me, you can't blame me. And guess who else you can't blame? God. Because I've heard so many people say, no, I don't believe in God because he ain't never tried to show me no sort of sign. Really, how'd you come in contact with this video? Did it pop up on your For You page or your home page randomly? Did a friend or a family member just happen to send it to you out of the blue? If you don't want to watch my videos talking about God, I love you. Entertainment industry, it's about influence. There is a reason why you see people dressed up as Satan, full on visuals of Satan, people dressed as Satan, dressed as a demon, got upside down crosses all on their clothes or pentagrams on their clothes. People think that this stuff is just a game. No, there's a, there's a reason why the entertainment industry is doing that, y'all. They know good and doggone well that God exists. They also know that Satan exists. They're just counting on the fact that y'all don't know that. But either way, the things that you take in, that they're feeding you, those things affect you. Whether you realize it in the moment or not, they affect you, that's why they do it. I'm not gonna sacrifice the honesty in order to be politically correct. I can say whatever I have to say with respect, but I'm gonna say it and I'm gonna say it bluntly.